Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Entry version 3, REST API development. This is our part 7. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about using form validation library to our post data. Successfully in the last video, we had seen that how can we submit our post data using body parameters. Successfully we have collected and saved to our database table. Now inside this video, we are not going to submit our parameters by this body section. Instead, we are going to use our form data section. Means inside here, we will pass key value pair like name, email, mobile and the course value. By getting these values, we will validate by using form validation library by let's say empty required field validations and after putting all those validations we will save our data to our table so firstly if i make comment these lines because these all lines indicates about using our body parameters and simply we will write let's say print a let's say post because we are going to collect our post data and let's say die here back to postman let's say that we are going to submit let's say name abc simply we have the next property like abc at gmail.com as next we have called mobile number this is dummy value and finally we have a key called course so if I make let's say sample and after putting these values click on send button and we are getting empty array and this is because as I think that we are setting headers like content type equal to application JSON instead we have to remove or we have to change like application and we have called form data so if we search here let's say form hyphen data so I think that we have to remove here because this is not a content type or this is not a property that we have to set so if we click on send button now as we can see that we have called name email mobile and the course value so remember that when we pass our form data then content type should be removed so if I back to editor so either you we can use like post data or let's set this input and post method so save all these changes back to postman click on send button now we are getting the same result so this is the way that we write in code igniter now let's say that we are going to get all the keys value so here list name equal to let's say this input post and as we know that we are getting our uh, array parameters in the format of an array as we can see here so if we want to get the name key so simply we need to write like name so copy and paste so let's say that if I copy these lines pasting it here four times and this is for the email so let's email email here the third for the mobile so let's say mobile and finally let's say for the name sorry for the course so this is for the course now finally we get all the values from our form data now in the next level we are going to use our form validation library so if I back to its construct function firstly we need to load that so let's say this load library and inside this simply I'm going to write the library name called form validation after loading this library now we can access its methods so copy the library name back to the post method and let's say that firstly I'm going to set our rules for these fields so let's set this form validation and we have a method called set rules inside its first parameter we have to pass our field name so the key name that we are getting as name as eating here so its name the first field we have called name and the second parameter we have to pass as a message so let's say that the message should be something called name here and in the third we have to pass our rules 
so let's say that we want to use as the required for the first field now if I save all these changes so this is for the first field setting rules for the required and I need to set for the second field so set rules this is our field name and the message something email so instead of name let's say email it should be required let's say mobile again let's say that the message should be something for the mobile required and if I back copy pasting it here now this time it should be for the course let's say course and it is required filled now again if I ma make as an email for the second rule something called valid underscore email now if I save all these rules next we have to check that let's say this form validation and we have a run method it will check that after submitting our form data we have any error or not so we are comparing here the here with the false value otherwise we have else block now inside this else block we are going to wrap this all data now inside this else block because for the if block it means that we have failed our form data to submit to the table so inside this if block let's say that we have some errors so accordingly we have to make our response so let's say this response in the first parameter we have to make an array and the second we have to make our http request type so sorry http status code so let's say that internal server error or simply let's say not found so copy this message back to the top and simply we can write inside this second parameter and the first parameter in the first parameter let's say status equal to let's say zero and inside message key let's say that all fields are needed now if we save all these changes and here if we line if we write single line comment let's say form validation for inputs and at the top here we can write that collecting form data inputs okay so we have written successfully and if I write one more single line comment here so let's say checking form submission have any error or not so back to our postman now if I press send button now all fields are needed it means that we have some mistake so back to editor and if I go at the top and these are field names so here instead of name we have to write email so back to postman click on send button and a student has been created back to table click on reload button and uh, as we can see that in the last means at the sixth number ID we have now record so this is guys this is how can we implement about form data section writing here and by the help of these things we have successfully implemented about the inbuilt feature of coordinator something form validation library in, in the last video we had seen that how can we submit our form data by using body parameters so inside that we are not able to use called these sections means our form validation library so form validation library will be used when we submit our form data by using our this checkbox like form data so that we can collect all the data inside this input post successfully we can implement about form validation library and check that any error or not so let's say that inside this email section we had mail one more like valid email so let's check that back to postman and if I let's say that ABC only or simply let's say if we change about the name so let's say Rohit 
and if I write Rohit simply here mobile number something dummy value and press submit button so let's see all fields are needed and this is because because we had written the static message inside this if block so we are getting let's say all fields are needed but in case if we correct the email address let's rohit algema.com and press send button now as we can see that a student has been created so successfully guys inside this video we had implemented the form validation library to validate our form data but remember form data library means form validation library will work only with the form data so we need to change here or we need to remove our content type we had seen the both way like submission of form data by using body parameters or form submission using form data so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day